Hi everyone, in this video we'll study graphs. Now what is a graph? A graph is a collection of nodes known as vertices and end edges that connect them. So it's a collection of nodes and edges connecting these nodes. Graphs can be undirected or directed. And a graph is usually denoted by G with V and E within these brackets, where V is the set of vertices and E is the set of edges in this graph. Now, how do we represent a graph? We represent a graph in two different ways. The first approach is an adjacency list and the second approach is an adjacency matrix. So let's try to understand these two representations of a graph. So let's just consider undirected graphs and we'll look at an example here. So we'll consider a five vertex graph. One, two, three, four, and five. These are the five vertices of this graph. And this is how these vertices are connected. Now we will represent this graph using an adjacency list. Now for each vertex in this graph, you will construct a list. So let's first consider vertex one. And it's going to be a linked list, which shows all the vertices to which one is connected. So one is connected directly to two. So that is what this particular node in this linked list shows. Now, another node or vertex to which one is connected is five. Now, one is only connected to two and five, and there is no other direct connection between the vertex one and any other vertex in this graph. So this list ends here. So now let's consider vertex two. It starts from this front and then vertex two is connected to one. It is also connected to five. It is also connected to four. And it is also connected to three. So this list one, five, four, three shows all the vertices to which two is directly connected. So they capture the edges. Now let's consider the vertex three. Three is directly connected to two. That is, there's an edge between three and two. Therefore, we will denote that using this linked list. Three is also connected to four. Therefore, you will have four. Three is not connected to any other vertex. So this list ends here. Okay, so let's Consider the next vertex, which is four. There is, it is four is connected directly to two. It's also connected directly to five. And it is also connected directly to three, which is what this list here captures. By this time, you would have understood how to create this adjacency list. So let's go ahead and write the adjacency list for five which is essentially be one, two, and four. So this is how you draw the adjacency list for a undirected graph. Okay, so now let's look at the next approach, which is the adjacency matrix approach. So a matrix adjacency matrix is essentially a matrix. So it is an V cross V matrix if there are V vertices. So here there are five vertices. So it's going to be a five cross five matrix here. So I'm going to write one, two, three, four, five here and another one, two, three, four, five here. Now, if there is an edge, between two vertices, you're going to denote that by one. And if there are no vertices, you're going to denote that by zero. So there's 
sorry, if there is no edges between two vertices, you're going to denote that by zero. So there's no edge between one and one, so that's a zero. There's an edge between one and two, so you denote it by one. There is no edge between one and three, that's a zero. There is no edge between one and four, that's another zero. There's an edge between one and five, so there's a one. Similarly, if you consider vertex two, there's an edge between two and one. There is no edge between two and two, that's a zero. There's an edge between two and three, there's an edge between two and four, and there's an edge between two and five, so they are all one. So in this way, we can fill the rest of this matrix. For three, there is no edge between three and one. There's an edge between three and two. There is no edge between three and three. There is an edge between three and four. There is no edge between three and five. So in this way, we can go ahead and fill this particular uh, adjacency matrix. That's for, uh, for vertex 4 and for vertex 5. It's going to be 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Because there are edges between 5 and vertex 1, vertex 5 and vertex 2, and vertex 5 and vertex 4. So this is how we represent an undirected graph using an adjacency matrix and an adjacency list. So the approach is going to be exactly the same, but now let's look at directed graphs. So in a directed graph, the, the edges will have a particular direction instead of an undirected graph where the edges don't have any direction. So let's look at a simple six node or six vertex example here. So vertex one, vertex two, uh, vertex three, vertex four, vertex five, and vertex six. It's a directed graph. So in this particular graph, there's a directed edge between one and two. There's a directed edge between one and four. There is a directed edge from four to two. You're gonna have a directed edge from five to two. There's, there's gonna be a directed edge from five to four. 3 to 5, there is a directed edge. There is a directed edge between 5 and 6. And there is a directed edge from 6 to 6. So, if you want to write the adjacency list, we'll start with vertex 1. Now, vertex 1 has directed edges to 2 and 4. So, that is what this list will capture. So, this list will have 2 and 4 in it. 2 has a directed, directed edge only to 5, so it only has that one node in this list. Now for 3, it has directed edges to 5 and 6, so you can have 5 and 6 in here. If you want to go ahead and write for 4, 5, and 6, 4 only has a directed edge to 2. So that's simple. 5 also has a directed edge, but this time the directed edge is to vertex 4. And 6 is interesting because the directed edge is to 6 itself. So 6 is connected to 6 here, and that can happen in a directed graph. So this is how the, the adjacency list for this directed graph looks like. So now let's go ahead and draw the adjacency matrix. So it's going to be a 6 cross 6 matrix here. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, Sorry, let's the vertices start from 1 and not from 0. So I'm just going to erase these. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So it's a 6 cross 6 matrix. Now, there is no directed edge from 1 to 1. So that's a 0 in here. There's a directed edge from 1 to 2. So that's a 1. There is no edge between 1 and 3, so that's a 0. There's a directed edge between 1 and 4, so that's a 1. No directed edge between 1 and 5, so that's a 0. And there's no directed edge between 1 and 6, so that's a 0. For 2, there is only a directed edge between 
2 and 5, so the rest are all zeros, and there's a 1 for between 2 and 5. For 3, there is a directed edge between 3 and 5 and 3 and 6, so we have 1s there, the rest positions are all 0. For 4, there's only a directed edge between 4 and 2, so you have 1 there, and the rest are all zeros. For 5, there is a directed edge between 5 and 4 and no other edges. For 6, there's a directed edge between 6 and 6 and there are no other directed edges. So the rest are all zeros between 6 and 6, there is a 1. So this is the adjacency list and the adjacency matrix representation for undirected and directed graphs. Thank you for watching. With this, I'll conclude this video.